the serenity of this moment did make it worthwhile to get out of bed as early as I did. Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we will hike 20 kilometers in Montenegro to get to an ice cave in the mountains. In northern Montenegro, Dermator National Park is a recognized United Nations cultural and heritage site. Black Lake is the largest of the 18 glacial lakes located in Dermator. Okay, quick geography lesson of Montenegro. Here is the country in its totality. Here is the Adriatic coast. And Dermator National Park is in the northwest corner of the country, nearest to the village of Jabliak. For a little bit more detail of where we're going, we're starting at Cherno Jez, Black Lake. Now I've actually walked five kilometers already to get to this point and believe me, leaving the campsite and the comfort of that bungalow and a queen size bed with a thick duvet, I, I did have to tear myself apart uh, from, the, uh, from the sleeping quarters. Nonetheless, we're here, it's sunny, the weather looks great, at least for now. So around Cherno Jez, Black Lake, we will follow this trail and eventually get to the ice cave, which is located under Bobotov Kok, the largest of the peaks in Dermator National Park at 2,500 meters. I didn't come to Dormator to specifically check out the animals, but here's a board that says what we could potentially find on our hike. The uh, Eurasian red squirrel, that's pretty. Yellow-necked mouse. West European Hedgehog, and the Least Weasel. The Least Weasel, I mean, wow, these animals already uh, suffer from the stigma of being synonymous with being sneaky and manipulative. Now you're going to call this subspecies of the family Least? That'll give that animal a real complex. Black Lake is at an elevation of 1,400 meters, and Dermator National Park has 40 peaks exceeding 2,000 meters in elevation. We'll say goodbye for now to Black Lake as we head up to Lenina Pichina Ice Cave, three hours from here a grain mill along a stream where trout use for spawning. Before crossing the bridge and the stream, there's time to pick some wild raspberries. And it appears that there is a real bountiful harvest, and I can't understand why there are as many fruit on this bush near to the bridge when it is as accessible to other hikers as it is to me. Is the ice cave that way? Yes, I was in a where, uh, in a cave. <laughs> yeah. And how is it? It's uh, beautiful. What do I have to look forward to? Uh, you have to uh, warm clothes. Uh, well, I've got a shirt with me. How cold does it get? Uh, how cold? Uh, 10 degrees. Lower. Lower. Below zero. Not below zero. Oh, okay, just just ten degrees. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, I uh, I've got a flannel with me. Hopefully, that will be enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, with what that other hiker said about ten degrees in the ice cave, that uh, that would look real good right about now. And admittedly, if it's an ice cave, I'll take minus ten. So these guys are doing their good deed of the day by cutting down some plastic sheeting that got caught to a tree. And they're using a broken mirror courtesy of my bag. Yeah, because we didn't have any knife. So we just stopped you and asked if you have something which is sharp. So 
but we got your mirror <laughs> and it's it's just solve our problem <laughs> no particular reason for taking this shot other than uh i don't get a chance to see a an underground bee colony that often <laughs> Uh, an, an hour and a half to go. With its distinctive colored roofs, the village of Zabliak in the distance of Dermator National Park. Somewhere beyond those rocks must be the ice cave. It certainly feels as if we're going on three hours. Wait, what was that? camouflaged hut we've uh, we've got to be getting close uh, daylight's burning and I certainly hope there's protection from the rain in the ice cave Permanent snow on a bed of rocks. We must be getting close to the ice cave. While I can't complain about the view, let it be said, I'm disappointed, perturbed, and even angry that I could not find the ice cave. I followed the red circles, the red lines, all the way to this point. I even had other hikers about half an hour from here saying it's only half an hour away and darn it, I can't find the ice cave. So excuse me if to my viewers I've uh, disappointed you, I certainly have disappointed myself. However, such is the case, this has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. Here we are in Dermator National Park in Montenegro. Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. I thank you for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you on our next episode and wish me luck. I've got 10 kilometers to go and only about two hours of daylight. What's that adage? Sometimes it's not the destination, but the journey? Well, I suppose I should be grateful for what I've seen here in Dermator National Park.